Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mr. Nuts. I'm Dave McCauley, and if you remember from the last video, we weren't doing so well, or I wasn't doing so well. Can't figure out how to beat this guy, and apparently, from what I can tell, he is the last boss. So let's keep trying to figure this out. Okay, save here. And... Oh, crap. Okay. What if I jump at him fast? Ah, okay. There, we're good there. He's gonna jump, I believe. Yep. Okay, and now I can go back and hit him one more time and fall to my death. And we're gonna jump, save, jump, hit him once, jump, hit him one more time, and save there. And not do that. crap and make it yes there we go okay I think I got the pattern down now oh no wait I could probably beat him here right here oh see a sucker oh my god did I just beat it I think I beat the game guys oh my god this is incredible. Just so I... <laughs> just in case. Congratulations! You have courageously faced all the dangers that have <laughs> threatened you. You have defeated all the creatures under the service of the abominable Yeti for hours and days you have braved all the traps. You have saved all the earth from a new ice age. Thanks to you, the Yeti will never frighten anybody again. As for our hero, Mr. Nuts, you will meet him again very soon for even more wonderful and crazy adventures sadly that's not true because they had a Mr. Nuts 2 in development but then they scrapped it so they never made another uh, Mr. Nuts they d I think they did do a recreation for the uh, GBA and maybe for the Sega Mega Drive but yeah as for a, a sequel that never happened they scrapped the entire idea Oh, those stupid plant things. What the hell are those anyways? Like little corn cob stems? I don't even know. Holy crap, this level was so long ago I can't even remember it now. Uh, an ocean game. Developed in 1994 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, this level too. This was forever ago. I hated this one. I hated that level. You guys, you guys will know. You can attest to that. I never got any power up. What the hell? Or did I? I think I. Yes, I did. That's the only time you get that power up in the entire game, I swear. The invincibility. Stupid birds. Is that all it's going to show me is game design? Is that what it showed in the last screen? I can't remember. It was the same name, so I can only assume. Oh, the water levels. Why didn't he just go? That seems really pointless. Why did he wait for that? Program. One of the same guys. It seems like this was made by a two-person team at a company. A failing company. I don't know. Is Ocean still alive? Are they still uh, developing games? I don't think so. I think they fell under. I could be wrong, though. I don't really keep up with my uh, old companies 
uh, the developed games for the uh, original systems. Oh, that was annoying. Graphics. Oh, <laughs> it, it has to be a two-person team. That's the other guy. Oh my god. This is incredible, actually. And at this rate, I don't think the credits are going to finish by the time the 10, lim the, bleh, bleh, the ten minute uh, limit is up for YouTube. Stupid buff clouds. I wonder whose idea it was to make the final boss the abominable yeti. <gasps> A new person! Well, that's to be expected, though, for the music. As far as the other two guys, it seems like they can just do the programming and the, uh, the graphics. And all the uh, game design. Stupid bees, I hated those. Anything that was flying in this game was a pain in the ass. Sound driver. Oh, a new guy. Bobby Earl. The NASCAR driver. I don't know, it sounds like a very NASCAR driver-esque name. Bobby Earl. Ricky Bobby. Presented by Ocean. The Ocean presented this game to you. The Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean both teamed up to bring you the adventure of Mr. Nuts. Notice how I didn't make adventure plural because there's only one adventure. <gasps> thanks to... Oh, there's special thanks now. Oh, it's going to show us all the names of the bastards. Surge. These are just stupid names. Gene Charles? Oh, God, okay, I thought it was naming off the, uh, the characters. I was like, these are really dumb names. And thus they are. No, they're not. They're actual people and, uh, nicknames. But they feel the need to do this blue aura around every enemy that comes in contact with Mr. Uh, Nuts right now. fairies were annoying as well. Oh, God. Action shot. Oh, crud. I was hoping to get a thousand. No, I wasn't. To be honest, I didn't care about the coins. Well, it wasn't a terrible game. It has a lot of challenges to it. Especially if you're not using save states. It, I could see it being a lot like ten times harder because a lot of the time you can't see what's in front of you unless you take the risk and you jump but who wants to take that risk when you don't know what's in front of you oh predicament but yeah an overall good game not not too bad just challenging if you weren't using save states and you actually own the game but yeah, guys, this was Let's Play Mr. Nuts. I'm Dave McCauley, and I'll see you in my next LP. Thanks for watching.